All right, everybody, this is Ross the Fig Boss. Today, we actually have my first main crop fig of the year from an in-ground tree or from a tree that has not received any head start whatsoever from some sort of greenhouse or plastic. It is my little ruby. This is quite a nice tree. I know we've talked about it a lot in the past, but um, we do have a lot of fruit on this this year. And again, it's ripening at a relatively early date. Last year, it did produce about 12 Brava that ripened really early in the season, and that was great to see. And I appreciated those Brava. They were very good. Um, but the main crop actually ripened about a week earlier than this year. So everything this year is about here in the Northeast on my property about a week later than normal. You can see more fruits actually ripening here. Let me actually pick some of these. That one may need another day or so. This one I think we maybe could pick, but these figs maybe, you know, they might not seem like much, but um, this is quite a nice treat. This is a very figgy variety. I, you know, this variety really tastes like a fig. It's kind of one way to put it. Really sweet, a nice date slash raisin flavor to it. They are very small, but they get a lot bigger here in the ground, especially as the tree gets older. Every year they're getting slightly larger. And that one again was also very good. I ate the whole thing by accident, sorry guys. Um, we also have right next to it a Ronde de Bordeaux, where the fruits are also ripening here. We have one down in here somewhere I saw. Here it is. That is about a day or two away. But for all intensive purposes, what this really means is that we know that Ronde de Bordeaux is really one of the earliest figs to ripen. So is Little Ruby. And I don't want to say that it is earlier, but this year it is earlier. I imagine this Moro de Caneva I have here called Fico Seco is really not that far behind. But I imagine this one probably has, because of the Breva we ripened, fast forwarding about 30 days, we probably have another week or two with that tree. So there's about a week or two, one, one or two week difference between these super, super early varieties um, and some of the others that you might grow that are early, like Hardy Chicago, I mean, all the hardy Chicago's are not created equal, but also with this Moro de Caneva, it's about a week or two difference. We also have over here an LSU Huye that put out fruits very early. I'm not seeing any actually that are ripe just yet, or even swelling just yet, but they look very close, like they will very soon. Um, there is actually a Floria or a Michurinska 10 in the front of the yard on the north side of the property. I'm not going to take you guys over there, but that's also ripening the same day as these. So what the point is, is that these three figs are among the very, very earliest. We're getting them here in the ground August 9th in 2022. But I believe in other years when we have a more normal spring, it's very likely I will get most of them by August 1st. I don't think that's out of the question, but there's a caveat. The trees have to survive the winter and the apical buds, the tops of the branches have to survive. We don't want any damage on any of these trees. Now, in terms of the potted trees, the earliest one here that will probably ripen without any head start is this hardy Chicago called Norella. This one was the first one to set the fruits and therefore should be the first one to ripen the fruits. Although I don't have a Little Ruby Ronde Bordeaux or a Floria or even really actually a very, very, very early variety like those in a container right now. I do have a Pastelier that's getting some age to it, but we won't know Really, the comparison that should be made is between the, the ripening dates between, let's say, a Ronde Bordeaux in a container and the Ronde Bordeaux in the ground. And of equal 
footing, right? They've been in a container for a long period of time. You know, like my Smith trees would be a good example of something that's mature, uh, fruits very easily and fruits at a reasonable date compared to an in-ground Smith tree. Although I don't, I can't make that comparison. So the comparisons really can't be made exactly, but what can be, I think, 100% true is because I've not really ripened many fruits here in a container before August 1st. So I've had a few, I think, in prior years around August 1st or in the first week of August. That's pretty consistent. And it's very consistent as well with the in-ground trees. And the point is I'm trying to make is that again, this year, like we discovered last year, there is no real difference in when the figs ripen when grown in a container versus growing them in, a ground, in the ground. They will ripen at the same exact time for the most part. I don't know which one is exactly earlier, but the difference is minimal. Um, and a lot of that I think is because of this location here as well of not just, you know, having very early figs, every early varieties in the ground. This is the best spot in the yard for the figs. It's the Southwest corner gets the most light in the yard. There are rocks planted on the ground, on the ground, landscape rocks. This little ruby actually is planted on a raised bed. So it's a bit higher up. Even when I planted this Ronde de Bordeaux, I planted it a bit higher above grade. Some of the root ball here, it's tough to see now in the middle of this tree, but it is a few inches when I planted it above grade. Here we have some Ronde de Bordeaux air layers that are taking put these on about I don't know three weeks ago anyway so that was the little thing I wanted to talk to you guys about today let's try one more I'm getting a little greedy here but let's try this one pretty soon we're gonna be in fig heaven so I'm not really gonna have to worry about eating figs this is really actually surprisingly good like it doesn't look that good I promise you it is very very sweet now, these will dry up on the tree no doubt so when we have dry periods these figs have a short hang time and they they'll do well now if it does rain and it does have an open eye and there's a problem with that but the most part this is a nice tree to have uh i think what would be better though is probably a very early hardy chicago and I hear that uh, Syrian Dark is one of the earliest hardy Chicago. So uh, maybe at some point I'll get that tree and we'll see. I know there's a couple that are supposed to be very early hardy Chicago's and that would be well worth, I think, having. But anyway, that was this little video. I'll try to make it short and sweet. We'll talk to you guys soon, all right? Take care.